heard there's a couple pretty girls up here that wanted to go fishing. Have you seen them? It's you? It's you? Let's go fishing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I'm sure if the first little clip made it in as you can tell I'm out here today with my beautiful beautiful wild child Gracie and uh, my wife Tara. I should say my beautiful wife Tara. I mean I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't say that. Um, and my boy Jake behind the camera. So we're just out spending a little bit of time together today. We ran a four hour charter this morning and if you guys don't follow me on on Facebook, I only posted on Facebook. I, I want to tell y'all about something that happened yesterday that was nothing less than a miracle. I mean, we're you call it you can call it luck, you can say we're blessed, you can call it a miracle. I don't I don't know. It was it's hard to explain. So yesterday morning we were on our way to the boat ramp, pulling our boat, me and Jake, Jake and I, and. Uh, we, we made a turn and it was kind of a confusing situation. We were going down the highway and we were actually T-boned uh, by a car that was, I mean, I don't think, I don't think he was speeding, but he was, it was probably a 60 mile an hour collision. So the miraculous part, the part that I think is a miracle is uh, our boat was actually launched off the trailer into the middle of the highway. Um, laying on asphalt on its side uh, truck didn't have a lot of damage trailer was totaled the poor guy who hit us his his car was completely totaled I'm actually Jake's gonna put some pictures up kind of show you guys give you an idea but this is like this is like 24 hours later um, we were able to drive the truck and the boat we had the boat lifted off the road and put onto another trailer and when we did that there really wasn't a ton of damage it was uh, it was pretty much superficial, some some gel coat spots and stuff like that, and uh, we had a we had a buddy of ours, Jamie Sherrard, come over and he actually patched patched a few of the spots of the gel coat and and we were fishing this morning at 5:30. I just I can't even explain it. And when you see when you see the pictures, if you haven't seen them already, it's tough. I mean, <laughs> boats aren't made to slide down the road and uh, and aren't made to withstand a collision like that. But it did, right, baby? And we're here and uh nobody was hurt in the accident like i said the other guy poor guy his car was totaled trailer was to our trailer was totaled but uh but everybody walked away and uh come here hold on come here where are you going hold on let me finish this real quick <laughs> and uh so we're spending some time we're very thankful we we fished a four hour this morning the pompano bite was really good this morning and i wanted to bring Tara and Grace back out to just have some fun and spend some time on the water. Uh, like I said, we're thankful to be here. We're thankful we still have a boat. We're thankful we still have a business. And I can't thank God enough for, for them and, and my friends and family and, and everybody that you know makes it possible for us to be out here. So, but the really exciting part is you're going to fish for Pompano today. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun if we can get on them. But what do you think about these? Beautiful. It's what? Tell them. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Why? Because it's pink. Because it's pink. I mean, every little girl, you know, you give them a pink lure, they'll fish twice as hard. So, as you can see, guys, we're throwing goofy jigs, uh, banana jigs, whatever you want to call them. The pompano banana. bite spin. You want to call them a banana jig? Yeah. Well, that would be a goofy jig. I think we should call the yellow one the banana jig. Okay. Okay. But uh, we're going to sling these jokers around. We've been catching all kinds of weird stuff. Everything eats these things. It's amazing. But, um, you want to try to catch Pompano? Yeah. All right. So that's the end of it. I'm not going to say anything else about the accident. We're blessed. We're thankful. Uh, we love all you guys. We're happy to be here and still be able to do this. And let's go catch some Pompano, kid. Give me five. Let's do it. Tell him, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. What you there got, Grace? Grace what you got? It might be our target species, guys. <clears throat> Grace is on him. What do you think it is? I don't know. I don't either. Probably a catfish. No, it's not a catfish. catfish. It better not be. Catfish. Come around fighting. this way, baby. Come around this way. Let's see if it's the right kind. It's fighting like it. It's fighting like you got him. Lift up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the right kind, Grace. Come here. That's the right kind. Keep pulling, kid. Oh, a nice pompano. Big pompano. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. I, I see him. You ready? I'm gonna flip him in the boat. Okay. I'm gonna flip him in the boat. Here he comes. Over the side. Yay! Look what you caught! 
<laughs> Look what you caught. Wow. What a pretty fish. He is pretty. Is that not a beautiful fish? Yes, she's beautiful. It's a she? How do you know? Because she's beautiful. Oh, okay. So that is a pretty, 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 probably 13, 14 inch pompano. Good yeah. job, kid. Give me five. And this is really fixing to upset some people because we're not keeping these guys. We're out here just having a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Enjoying ourselves. And uh, you know, we don't we don't have to keep everything we catch, right? Yeah. You wanna give him a kiss? No. No? Mm -mm. All Never. right. Target species on the, on, that was on the yellow jig. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to throw her back? Yeah. You sure it's a her? Yeah. Cause she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here she goes. Nice, good job, kiddo. No, I caught something big. Yeah, you did. Good job, baby. You did so good. All right, let's do it again. You want to get another one? Yeah. And I don't know. I'm going to show you guys, too, what we're doing. I don't know if it makes a difference. I had a good buddy the other day from Boca Grande come up, uh, Brian, and he brought us some Procure. And he uses it on his, on his vertical jigs, and we've been putting it on our goofy jigs. Um, I didn't think it would stick to it. I mean, it doesn't make sense that it would stick to metal very long. But we're just smearing it around with our finger. Dad, look. I see you. <laughs> we're smearing it around with our finger and doing it about, you know, every 10 casts or so. We'll add some. I think it makes a difference. We kind of played with it the other day. Here, Grace, big pompano. Big pompano on, Grace. Big pompano. We got another one. This is awesome. I was, I was praying these fish would bite for her. Put your hand up here. Holy cow. Holy cow. What do you got now, kid? Holy fish, it's not holy cow, it's holy fish. This is an absolute blast. Mom, you should try to catch a pompano. They're so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're trying or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, big baby. That a girl, talk to it. Come on. I haven't seen a flash yet. I think it's a pompano. Oh, doing? I see it, it's a pompano. Mom's on the net. Oh boy. This could be bad. Mom's back on the net. Lift up, get him, Grace. Ooh, hold on, you gotta keep the rod under control. What are you doing? Have you ever, have you ever in your life seen this type of, I've never seen anything like this. It's a new technique. Pull hard, pull hard. Oh. Mom's about to swat him away with that net. Huh? I said, Mom's about to swat him away with that net. Yes, she is, she's gonna try not to true, Keep cranking. Not true, not true. Keep cranking, babe. I'm trying. My net, You're doing my so good, so he's right messy. here. There he is. He's right here. Look at that, Mom. <laughs> Y'all lifted him out. Oh, Good man. job, girls. Good job. Look how pretty and silver these things are. And they are delicious. Beautiful. But we're going to get them back, right? Yeah. Kiss. Nap em. There he goes. You want to do it again? How many of these do you think you can catch? 100. 100? I don't know that I can put us on 100. I might be able to put us on a few more, though. Grace has got it figured out. Right. Right. Oh, dude. There he is. Jake's got one on. Oh, Jake's yeah. got one on. Okay. Ooh. Come on, Jake. Okay. Ooh, he hammered it. He crushed that jig. Got one? Yeah, I got one. You want to get the net? You want to net him, Grace? Yeah. Net him. You get the net. Okay, but you got to wait to take this one something. You just scoop him up. Okay. Oh, it's a good one, Jake. He smashed it. That is a good one, buddy. Is he still on? Oh, that's a big Oh, he's still on there, Gracie. That is a big mop. Are you ready? Yeah. Jake's Hold on. Right to you. Hold on. You're scared. You're scared? Don't be scared. He's going to put his right in there. All right. Ready? Push it down. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Drop it down. There you go. Lift. Yes. Yes. Yeah, All right. Good, good job, job. Great. Thanks, Grace. Good job, Jake. You're welcome. Nice pop and a good net job, Grace. Great. You did better than me. Look at that pop. Yeah. He's big. He that is a nice pompano, dude. Touch it. Pretty fish, Jake. No? A bit slimy. A bit slimy. That was... Here he goes. That was a good boy. Guys, real quick on a serious, a little bit more serious note. I, uh, if you've watched many of our videos, you know we take absolutely the best care of these fish that we can when we're not keeping them. Um, so when you see, like, Jake right there slamming that fish back, we're not, we're not throwing the fish down. 
Some fish actually revive better if you shoot them back in the water. Try to get them head first, kind of give them a run and start. Pompano is one of those fish, jack, anything in the jack family. Mackerel. Mackerel. Um, kingfish, yeah. which is a mackerel. Dad, if you say Nightmare Before Christmas three times, the fish will definitely come. Okay, say not more. That's that's Grace's tip for the day. If you say Nightmare Before Christmas three times, the fish will come to you. But yeah, I just I just wanted y'all to know that. I mean, I know it may look like we're throwing these fish back, but I mean, and we are. But it kind of gives them a jump start, gets the oxygen flowing, and they take off. They're fast swimming fish. I'm a professional yeah, yeah. fisher. Let's catch some more, guys. Here, ooh, Here, ooh, Here, Here, ooh. Come on, come on. Catch Here, one, mom. Take your time, just stay tight. Fight it. Not like Mom that. Mom has got a fish. Fight it normal. Mom's got a fish. <laughs> You're gonna have to walk around with that one. He's he's foul hooked. A lot of times he get foul hooked on these because they just swipe them. Come back to the back. Oh yeah. Come on, Mom. Grace, oh, are you yeah, gonna Mom. net this one or you want me to net it? Uh I can net it. You sure, okay. Yeah, okay, you got it. Careful with it next to the boat, man. I just don't want to get hooked. Yeah, let me get the net on this one, Grace. How about that? Ooh, it's mom, a big pump in there. Mom might not be able to control her. Uh... I can do it. Okay. Okay, mom's got to get him up the top. Ooh, I'm good at it. Okay. There he is, mom. Nice pump in there, mom. Good job, mom. I can see him. I know he's somewhere. This could be a real Watch mess. your net, Grace. You got to move the net when mom gets him up there. Wait till he comes to the top. Bring him around one more time, Mom. Mom, can, Mom can't keep his head up. Okay, hold on. We gotta move the net. We got him under the net. <laughs> you hit him with the net. Up, Mom. Yeah. That's just to make sure. That we is get a him. giant pompano. Oh, gosh. She's, Good she's job, big. Mom. Job. She's pretty big. Good job, Mom. That she is a big, big. pompano. Oh, she's pretty. She's big. Can I get a picture of you with it? Will you hold it? Grace held one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mom. One, so you to hold one. Right. Okay. <laughs> Tell them about it. Oh, it's a hard fight. That is not. She, <laughs> she's uh. Look, it's a lot harder than what I was catching of a fight. So. She's very I just dramatic. It. Very dramatic. We're going to get a picture and get it. him back. Let me see, Mom. He's pretty. Okay. He, he is pretty. Over the power pole. Get him, Grace. He's a hold that rod up. Hold it up to the sky. There you go. Here, look, you can keep your elbows down. Here, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. There you go. Keep cranking. Keep cranking, kid. Mom's on the net. Mom likes the net. I like it. You like you like netting the fish? Yeah. Keep fighting, kiddo. You got him? Hold that rod up. Oh. Oh, he's angry. He is angry. fighting kid you're gonna sleep good tonight aren't you oh yeah here he comes you see him yet mom y'all yeah. gotta get the y'all gotta get the talk down grace is screaming fish on you gotta say i got color i got color i see him you got a real kid real kiddo <laughs> real you got a game line on him is it a pompano mom yeah all right right there oh Ooh. He's angry. Hold on. He's Hold on, Grace. That's a big one. Oh. That's a big one. Get him, Mom. Yeah. All right, girls. He's Ooh. angry. That is awesome. That is too cool. Give me He's five. Angry. Good job, Mom. He's an angry one. That is a big pompano. Yeah, Mom's getting better. Mom's getting better on the net too. Oh, my hands are tough. That is a big pompano, Grace. My hands are tough. Are they? Yeah. Let's get this hook out of him. I think I'll stick to netting. Oh, you want a net next time? So mom's got a reel on the next one, huh? Yeah. There you go. I'll hold him. You want to hold him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Dad wasn't holding him very good. Okay, he's coming down. Here you go. Grab No, don't be scared. I'm sorry. You don't want to hit your children with a fish. It'll scare them. <laughs> Are you ready? Throw him back. Throw him back. Throw him. Oh, kind of backwards, but he swam up good. Look, there he goes. Skip awesome. All right, Grace, tell everybody about our trip. You want me to start? All right, guys. So uh, we're heading in. We've been out here for probably 45 minutes to an hour. 
One of the most important things and advice I can give for anybody taking kids fishing is pay attention to the kid. If the kid starts acting like they're bored, starts uh, starts getting a little out of control because they're bored, or uh, or just flat out says, I'm, I'm done, I'm ready to go. I know sometimes it's hard, like the bite we were on right there was awesome, but it's time to go. If you want that kid to grow up loving fishing, you can't make fishing a punishment. And that's that's just my my advice. Uh, make fishing fun. When it's time to go, it's time to go. Even if even if you have to pull off a hot bite. But did you have fun? Yes. How much fun? One hundred meters of fun. One hundred meters of fun. That's a lot of fun for anybody who doesn't know how to read meters, right? How many fish did you catch? Um, how many you think? Nineteen? I think. Nineteen fish she thinks she caught. Can you count to nineteen? I think. Anyways, anyways guys, we had an absolute blast and uh, it's time to go. We need to get inside, get in the air. But uh, if you guys want to book a trip, all our information's at the end of the video as always. We really, really appreciate everybody watching, right? And until next time, God bless everybody and we'll see you guys on the water. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Good job.